Welcome back. It is still the run-up, and we promise to bring you conversations around uh, voter education. And you know, 2023 is very close, almost with us, and this is what we're looking at. Actually, building up to the 2023 general elections, and how educated are the people around us? How, you know, as 2023 elections draw near. Voter education is essential as it provides potential voters with the necessary information to make an informed choice in the voting booth. It also informs on when, where and how to register to vote, as well as when, where and how to vote. Uh, INEC, as well as other election management bodies, have made efforts to educate the people on various information and, of course, encourage participation of the public in election processes. Today, we will be talking about why voter education is necessary and also encouraging voter participation. And I have with me in the studio, Chukwemeka Mba. You're welcome. Thank you, Uche. Uh, Chukwemeka is the team lead for Vote 023. Uh, do you want to tell us what Vote 023 is about? Okay, so uh, Vote 023 is uh, an awareness campaign where we are um, talking to Nigerians through a public service line and we're giving them 23 reasons for them to vote, to go out and vote to, um, in 2023. Mm -hmm. And one of the things we're trying to do is to um, bring to the spotlight voter apathy how bad it has been since 2007 turnout has really been low so we've sort of highlighted 23 reasons why you should go out and vote in 2023 okay so let's bring it home 2023 is upon us yes. i like to say it that way and uh, how would you rate inex preparations especially towards voter education how would you rate their performance so far is this on a scale of one to ten or just freelance I just feel written. free <laughs> well i mean i think there's there's room for improvement there's okay. there's room for improvement we, uh, i'm aware that uh, first of all pvc collection has started again mm -hmm. you know but uh, i'm yet to collect mine so i'm sure after now i'm just dashing down there and let's see what what happens i mean i've seen them particularly with um INEC opening this database and the public getting to understand that, okay, we have a number of duplicates and what have you. First of all, I think that was impressive to do that. I don't know if it's been done before. And mm. that sort of sent a signal that, okay, they are serious about this election and, you know, carrying the public um, along. But I still feel that much has to has to be done to get. Um, in terms of rating, in <laughs> I don't know what figure I'm going to give them, so I'll just leave it at that. You don't that. have to give figures. You, you, this is what your organization does. Like, you people are very much into educating people. Uh, so that's why it's, why it's important, mm -hmm. you know, to participate. And this is what is also part of, you know, the duties of INEC. And I, I know that there is the National Orientation Agency that is another conversation altogether. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to point out is there are organizations that these are their primary duties, mm -hmm. but then your organization also does something like this. So I was hoping that, you know, from what you have done so far and what you've seen INEC do, put it together mm -hmm. and give us, you know, an outlook. All right. So what I would say to that is everybody has their part to play. Mm -hmm. INEC is doing their own part. Um, but I like to focus on what I can do okay. uh, as an individual or as an organization. All right. So we ourselves set out on a, an audacious goal to reach out to 23 million Nigerians. It's, it's a tough job, right? <laughs> and there are pockets of people also doing several things. I have friends that are running some other organizations going through to different um, uh, big churches or student groups and ensuring that, first of all, the PVC registration and collection is happening, right? So for me to grade INEC, it's almost like I have, you mm. know, an insight to, okay, what are all the metrics that they set? Okay, how far have they gone? I can't really say to you right. get. But what I would like to just focus on and highlight on is um, what I'm doing and what other people are doing to also add and supplement to what right. um, I So INEC let's talk about what you're doing. Um, you, yeah. are, you, you're, you have a team, of course, that you're working with. Yeah. How did you guys come together and, you know, how did you 
birth this idea and mm. what is it really like? How, what are your processes okay. and how do you get along with it? Awesome, thanks. So interestingly, in my daytime job is I run a software company, Emergent Labs. And worldvote023.org is to us, some would say it's some sort of CSR initiative that's here to stay because we have the tech, we have put together the solution. Mm -hmm. And we're like, okay, um, it came from an inspired place anyway. And we, we had the solution. At, at the point in time when we had the solution, we we're not really thinking about the elections. Mm -hmm. But, you know, from a place of, you know, inspiration, and by that I mean my personal devotion, that <laughs> idea of like, you know what, this thing that you have, you know, why don't you take it to the public? Make it non-partisan, because all we're doing is very non-partisan. And why, how do you spotlight on, a lot of people are not voting. You don't have the right to complain about a country you're not doing anything about. So mm. we just, okay, you know what? We looked at a lot of reasons, and like, interestingly, it just happened to just fall on 23 reasons. So we look at, um, and we're trying to target a lot of people that have never voted before. So. If you've never voted before, but security is very important to you, if you've never b voted before, but education is important to you, justice is important to you, value of life is important to you, then pick one of those reasons and either you champion it or let that be the reason that you go out and vote. I'm not telling you who to vote for. I don't mm. really care about that. But I know that um, the category of people that are appealing to are hardworking people that are very educated and we believe they will make the right uh, decision. So... This idea came up and we, we have the tech and I spoke to our current um, um, lead collaborator, Angela Chubai, amazing person, who, okay, Angela, I have this idea, I've built the tech, or like, okay, you need to, you, I need like Ivory messages and Angela in 24 hours, you know, she came up with like all the Ivory messages in different languages and like, mm -hmm. okay, you need to do a public launch. So we had like a national launch in um, November. 10th yeah we had a national November 10th at Ozumba and it was really amazing and since then we've processed um over 124,000 calls now for me like it's still way far behind what we need to do but we're having interesting conversations happening announcement that we'll make soon that I can't say right now but <laughs> watch out you know that would really boost those figures um very soon so for me, it was just more like, you know, from the idea to sharing with friends and then key people that, okay, I will take care of media, I will take care of the IVA, I will take care of, like, digital media and all that. And then the team just came together, the, the vision united us, and we're here today. So if I, if I were to ask you, <coughs> excuse me, what the aim mm -hmm. of your organization is, I think you already hinted on that. I'd like for you to elaborate. Yeah. Uh, but then, um, how, where, where do you see this mm -hmm. in the nearest future? Because right. 2023 is almost here, yeah. Yeah. So I'd like to make it clear that um, Vote 03 is here to stay. Voter apathy is not something we're going to cure overnight, mm -hmm. right? It's not. And I would not kid myself. We're not going to stop it overnight. But however, we, I mean, the last figure was like 35%, 35.70%. If at all we can just move that needle by even 2%, it's a big success for us. Mm. If we can get it to 96, sorry, 36, 37%, and slightly higher, that's huge success. But because it's going to take a lot of work. We have, and I was telling uh, Collins that there's a group of people that we're also targeting. Don't get me wrong, we need to talk to the grassroots, but I feel like it's easier to talk to middle class because I feel that they will make decisions based on, you know, we're hardworking, we need to protect our, our businesses, the economy, our health and things like that. So we really want to appeal to that group of people, you know, so um, that's, that's my thoughts about that. All right, so um, vote 023. Correct. Um, is actually is more towards um, battling voter voter apathy, but then you know what something else that comes hand in hand with voter apathy is vote buying mm -hmm. or in this case vote selling. Mm -hmm. um, do you guys have a place to also fight that as well? So there are, there are lots of battles to fight, like <laughs> lots of battles to fight, and you have to just pick you know the one that you want to mm. you know tackle. Do you get so for for us we say that what we're doing is, is it's an awareness campaign a lot of, so sometimes when we talk when we when, when i speak to people like voter apathy what's that <laughs> you have to go and quickly google what that is mm. so we're like look these numbers have been you know um since um 
2007, the numbers just started going down. You can say, guys, this thing is happening to you complain about the country. Have you ever thought about voting before? So we sort of bring that voter engagement, participation, and highlighting voter apathy uh, together. So for us, it's more of like awareness, you know, and, and then seeing that if our efforts would just adjust that needle, and, and then I keep saying that this is not just about presidential election. It sort of trickles down to other elections, mm -hmm. gubernatorial and House of Rep and all. It just happens to be so that election is what, um, presidential election is what most people talk about. So we have to just ride on that. But it's more like, okay, we need to engage people. So there's something that we were working on from next year called um, Body 23. And the idea is for us to, okay, yes, you're going to vote, right? Great. But almost like a cell thing where I'm going to call, if we chase my friend, I'm going to call you on election day. I'm coming to your house. If we live close by, mm -hmm. I'm coming to your house. Both of us are going out to vote, right? So those are the things that we're starting now, but it's not something that after election it ends. Now, how can we make this That's body 2023 20, skill? Imagine if we have like, you know, a million bodies. That's 2 million people. If we have mm -hmm. 10 million bodies, that's what you know, 20 million people. So that's one of the things All I'm right. looking at. Um, you know, when you talk about voter apathy, I like to think that it's a two-way thing. First is the people, the individuals who have lost trust and belief in the political um, elite. Yeah. And then there is the political elite who is probably doing something wrong that is making the people lose trust in them. And then one of the avenues of enlightenment is meeting and interacting with uh, would be candidates themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, this kind of helps to bridge the gap. Uh, you get where I'm coming from. So, yeah. how how do you also? You already have a, a, a ground, you know, leveled out to meet with individuals and the electorate. How about the would be candidates? Do you have any plans of <laughs> bringing them into this space into what you're doing? Well, I, I have a wish list that I'm working on. <laughs> <laughs> Names I can't mention, but I know that. Um, so we, we also run this um, IG live sessions and there are names that we've secured to like, we want them to talk about it and mm. let the people know, you know, about it. Because some of them actually care about these things. Mm. So that's one way. Two, and like I said, we can't do everything. We have to just focus on what uh, we can. However, I, I know people, I actually have friends that are doing something. So, so look, like what you just said now, there's a friend of mine that is doing something really brilliant where he's sort of organizing a town hall meeting. But what he's doing is he's going through estate residential associations, right? So imagine if I, if I as a maker alone, just say, you know, I want to go and meet my local government rep, one person, they probably would just shun me. Mm. But if I belong to, and I do belong to like a residential association and there are like 2,000 of us, a thousand of us say, well, someone in you, I want to ask you questions. Now, because you want to appease us, chances are you're going to listen. You At least you honor that invitation, mm -hmm. right? So I just said that to say that there are pockets of people that are doing other things that we don't necessarily have to do. But guess what? So when he is engaging people on that front, he gets to mention vote 023. And when you engage me on vote 023, I get to mention what he's doing. So it's almost like there's a synergy of different people doing certain things and collectively mm. we hope to see that you know sparking something new this coming election i'm quite hopeful <laughs> <anyway>. <laughs> all right we're rounding up now quickly just before we go mm -hmm. uh what are your final words to people who are watching you now and yeah basically what do you have to say to people who have already made up their mind that this 2023 no i am not going to vote probably because of you know all the all the many many reasons that we've you know been able to reel out mm -hmm. this morning what mm -hmm. are your words well so the first thing i would say is i know a lot of people will say you know my vote don't count but that's not true that's a lie that we've told ourselves because if it never counted people would not buy it that's one secondly if you decide not to vote, then you have no right to complain all through 2023. So my advice is, you know, um, go out and vote, right? And be at peace with yourself that you attempted or you did something towards 2023. That's it. All right. Uh, thank you so much, um, Chukwemeka, for coming on the run-up this morning. It was amazing talking to thank you. you and it is still the run-up. We'll go on a quick break. When we return, the run-up will continue. Do not go anywhere. Stay with us.